Okay, here's today's problem. A ball is thrown vertically upward from the 12 meter level in an elevator shaft with an initial velocity of 18 meters per second. At the same instant, an open platform elevator passes the 5 meter level, moving upward with a constant velocity of 2 meters per second. Determine first when and where the ball will hit the elevator, and second, the relative velocity of the ball with respect to the elevator. Okay. I've drawn an, um, this is supposed to be an elevator shaft, and here we have the ball, and it is at uh, 12 meters above the bottom to start. So there's 12 meters. It's got an initial velocity of 18 meters per second. And the elevator platform itself is here. So this is a drawing at uh, t equals zero. And this is at the five meter level, right? And it's moving with its own velocity of two meters per second. Okay, so how are we going to approach this problem? Well, well, first what we're going to do, we're going to do two steps to kind of set this up. First, first step, we're going to write the equation of motion for the ball. For the ball, call that y sub b and then second uh, we'll write the equation of the motion of the elevator call that y sub e and so what well, you can see what we're going to do is um, where and when we're going to set y sub b and y sub e equal to one another and solve for the time that'll be where the ball hits and then we could plug that back in and determine uh, that'll be when the ball hits. We can plug that back in and see where the ball will hit. So let me scroll down and do that. So first step is to write that um, equation of motion for the ball. And we can write that. It's a, um, they're both uniformly, let's see, the ball is a uniformly accelerated motion. Where, so it's going to look like this. It's initial position plus its initial velocity plus uh, one half times the acceleration times the time squared. Now I can plug in these initial uh, position is 12 meters initial velocity was 18 meters per second and the um, acceleration is due to gravity and there we go let me scroll down a little, get me some more room here. And start working on the elevator. Uh, for the elevator, we have the initial position. And it's not under, it has no acceleration. It's moving at constant velocity. And so it's just, it's the velocity of the elevator times time and that is uh, it starts off at five meters and it's moving up we'll call the up the positive direction so plus 2t okay so what do we have we've got yb we've got ye now all we need to do is set the two so we'll set the two equal here Uh, and that 
looks like this 12 plus 18 T uh, minus because the minus is the um, the acceleration up here the, due to gravity is minus 9.8 meters per second squared so that's minus 9.8 over 2 T squared so that's the Y sub B set that equal to Y sub E which is 5 plus 2 T now we set this uh, up okay and this equation is a quadratic equation it has two roots um, and it they are the two solutions are uh, minus 0 0.3 point 0 0.39 seconds and 3.65 seconds and so we're going to take the uh, you know the time not in the past the minus sign we're, we'll take this solution and we'll say that is equal that's the time at which the two uh, collide the elevator and the ball now the next step uh, was to get the position you no know, the relative velocity of the two and so we've got this we've got the let's see what we've got here here we go so the relative velocity of B with respect the ball with respect to the elevator and that's just going to equal the difference in velocities so we need to solve two things write down what the velocity of the ball is write down what the velocity of the elevator is and we'll evaluate it at um, this time when they collided so how do we get the velocities well of course we do, we uh, take the differential with respect to time of the positions so here's for VB um, where do we write down the the Y sub B is is this equation right here so let's take D the the differential of that with respect respect to time um, the first term is you know zero and then we've got an 18 we've got minus 9.8 uh, times the time so this will be the velocity of the ball in meters per second and the velocity of the elevator um, we can just go back and look at that and is given in the problem also we take the, the differential of the of this with respect to time and it's just going to be 2 and this is in meters per second And so the um, the answer to the question, the relative velocity of the ball with respect to the elevator, is this 18 minus 9.8 t minus 2. And then we're going to evaluate this t at 3.65 seconds plug that all into your calculator and you'll get this a minus 19.8 meters per second so there you go that's how fast the ball is moving when it hits the elevator and let's look up I've got a I've got a few seconds left so let me go back up here and look at this um, what's going on here Let's look at this. We, you know, we we throw the ball. It starts off at 18 meters per second. What's it going to do? Of course, it's going to go up to some height, which we could calculate, but we don't need to right now. It's going to come falling down. And while that's going up and down, the platform is going to progress up. So wherever it hits, um, boom, the ball will be coming down. The platform will be going up, and we know the the velocity of the the collision. That's all.